Hey, hey YouTube, what's up? Redneck DIY Feller here again, just a little quick update. And for, uh, so far, I just got done with this second bracket, less than two or three minutes ago. And I chose to weld it on there for, uh, for pure sake of strength and stability. <coughs> Excuse me. And because if you know if you stick a bolt through there over time that bolt's gonna loosen up you know whatever even if you put a lot washer on it so I just chose to you know weld it on there it's quick it's simple it's easy okay anyway uh, I'm working on the second bracket now the sun's going down so I got about 20 30 minutes of daylight left and you anyway, know what I noticed about these lights after I got after I got done with the first one or the first bracket I mean is that when we flip the camera around is that even though the, they are the same lights same lights they have different bolt patterns and the wire and the wiring placement is different why I don't know uh, could be a different year could be you know what uh, numerous things so anyway I don't know anyway but a quick little tip that it, it always helps me for some reason. Whenever I'm placing lights on, you know, and getting ready to drill a bracket hole, <coughs> or on a bracket, I should say, is that I mark stuff with a soapstone. It's dull, I gotta sharpen it up, but anyway, soapstone. And you know, you can make any mark, find a little piece of metal somewhere, okay, dark metal preferably, you know, soapstone. Just like, just like, a kid's chalk, you know, you can draw on any type of metal or, you know, whatever's hard. Anyway, what I found that helps me out whenever I'm doing lights, take you a little bit of soapstone when my camera focuses back in. <coughs> I'm not sure if it'll show up on the video, but every time I flip my camera around, it's like real dark and it gets back to its normal lighting range. I don't know. Anyway, what I found that helps me out, I'll take, and I did it on this one. Ooh. Poke the camera, poke you and I. I'll take the soapstone and I'll, you know, put it on the top, which I'll just like a little half ass job of it. But anyway, I'll just take and I'll rub a, you know, a little bit on, on each bolt. And when I get ready to place it, you can see I've, I've done, already did this. And you can see, you know, I just kind of put it on there and then I'll, then I'll wiggle it. Just to, you know, get the chalk in there. And that leaves a little imprint of where the bolts go. Then I'll come back with the soapstone and mark it a uh, darker mark. <coughs> and also, when you're drilling through metal that's kind of semi-halfway thick. I mean, this, this isn't too, too thick. I'm not sure the size of it. But me, you know, in case you, you know... This is like a, little, a new little thing to you, or you're just starting out, you know, you want to do something, whatever. Always take, and this isn't, this isn't, you know, actual bits that I've been using, but start off with the small bit, and then just work your way up through the sizes, you know. And I'm all cluttered up here, but, you know, I find them. But like I said, you know, it, it helps because you, like you would say, like you drill your small hole first, change bit. Then come back to your, you know, hole, and it depends on like on like the size of the nut or bolt that you're sticking through the hole. Like let's say you're gonna drill something for this, which is you know, uh, not not too big, but it's you know it's still you know whatever. And it also depends on the type, the, the thickness of the the metal the material and so anyway basically all I'm getting at is it, is it helps keep wear and tear off your bits by starting small and then working your way up to a larger bit you know now if you're drilling something especially if you're drilling something this size which that's it's just a 13 16 inch drill bit if you're doing something this size, you seriously do not want to just sit there and try to drill straight through that metal unless it's thin enough. Because you just, you will just, 
dull your bit out. You will, you know, overheat the metal. Well, I ain't gonna say overheat the metal, but you know, you, you'll cause heat, wear and tear, friction. You know, all stuff that can hurt a bit. So, just a little quick tip and a quick update. I will be back shortly with the second bracket and hopefully some more paint. See y'all later.